Hey, how's it going, guys? This Sunday, we've got a TNA pay-per-view. It's going to be against all odds. Uh, you're going to have, for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, Bobby Roode defending his championship against Bully Ray, James Storm, and Jeff Hardy. Uh, should be a good match. But uh, anyways, before I get down to all of my predictions, I want to point out that, well, I know I haven't put up a WWE 12 you know, roulette video this week, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I just didn't have the time to upload it. Well, even to record it, I didn't even have time to record it or, you know, have the match or anything like that. So, I'll do it as soon as possible. I'll try and get it up early, like, uh, next week. And, uh, yeah, if I can early next week, I'll try and put it up on, fr you know, uh, Friday next week. Yeah, Friday on next week. So, uh, also, uh, <laughs> a warning. Um, you might see some shitty cause in, this t in these TNA prediction game videos because... <laughs> Uh, like the Jesse Sorensen uh, and a bunch of them. I mean, some of them are good. Like, uh, I think all of the cars, you know, in this video are pretty good. They're, uh, they look like they're uh, real-life counterparts. But uh, the Jesse Sorensen car you're going to see. The, um, what else? Um, I don't know what else. But it's specifically the Jesse Sorensen created character. Just he just looks like a default creative character, and I just want to let you know I didn't make that character. I don't make any creative characters that are actual superstars or wrestlers in real life. I always get them off community creation. So I got all of these guys, all of the you know creative characters you're gonna see in the prediction game videos off community creations, just like I always do. But this time, the thing is, when it comes to you know wrestlers like Jesse Sorensen, Zima Ion. And just wrestlers that aren't as popular or as known or maybe new to the wrestling scene, you don't have as many creative characters or as many options to choose from in community creations. Not as many people put creative characters off them, yeah, you know, of them, you know, on the on the actual community creation. So when I search for Jesse Sorensen, uh, I got like what two maybe choices, two cause of him. And both looked horrible. I mean, the guys making them just weren't weren't that great. It looked like you know, it's like a default call, the default face and everything, with just blue tights with swords and written on them. And <laughs> the funny thing is, he wrote Sorensen wrong. Uh, his you know, <laughs> Jesse Sorensen in TNA. I think it's spelled um, well at the end. The last three letters are S E N. But instead, this guy put S O N. So yeah, that's another mistake. Basically, you know, it's a, it's it's a bad creative character. But I use them anyways. I don't want to make the creative character myself. I'm too lazy for that. And really, I don't feel like making a Jesse Sorensen creative character. Even if I would, you know, make super star creative characters, I wouldn't waste my time really with, you know, the less known ones. Um, I like to download them just off community creations. We got some. You know, talented people there that make some awesome creative characters that look like real life. Just like the Mass Kane creative character that I rec recently downloaded. He looks freaking awesome. Looks like the real thing. But at the same time, you're going to have, you know, some newbies making some creative characters and putting them on community creations. Now, even though the creative character of Justin Sorsen isn't that great, or really, it's 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 pretty bad. But uh, I thank the guy for putting, them, putting him on there just so I can have a creative character to use of him. <laughs> Uh, anyways, enough to talk about, you know, creative characters and all. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, you might be like, oh, communications worked for you? Yeah, it, it did work, but, uh, like I said before, it only worked, it only works in two situations here. It works when, sometimes, it works if the guy's on the front page. If, um, you know, you search, you don't even search, I mean, you, you click on community creations, then download, and then there's, you know, the front page with, like, 50 creative characters on the WhatsApp page, I can download some of those, no problem, but uh, once I custom search, it doesn't work, unless it's like 3 to maybe uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, during that period, most people, you know, in the world are sleeping, so there's not much traffic, you know, uh, onto, on the servers, so you can download that at that time. Now, I don't know how smart it is for me to tell all of you guys that <laughs> because maybe you know uh, people are gonna catch on to that and then you're gonna have a shitload of people downloading at that time and it's not gonna work anymore but I don't know whatever anyways I've spent way too much time talking about the I mean the uh, cause and all that stuff so let's get down to the predictions I'm gonna make this quick here uh, I've got 
Hold on a second, I've got the match card here on my browser just so I don't forget any matches. Alright. So, first match, number one contenders match, Jesse Sorensen versus Zima Ion. I'm going to go with Jesse Sorensen on this one. Why? Well, you'll know why uh, once I talk about the X Division title match. Uh, knockout title match. Gail Kim defends her championship against Terra. And I'm going to go with Gail Kim on this one. I think they're going to have Gail Kim hold on to the championship for a very long time. And if it's not going to be for a very long time... I still don't see her losing the championship against Terra, you know, in their first match or at the against all odds pay per view. If she's gonna lose the title soon, I think it's gonna be at lockdown. Uh, that's usually, you know, one of TNA's biggest pay per views, so I think that would be maybe ap appropriate for, uh, uh, I don't know, a face knockout to win a championship. So afterwards, the X Division title match, Austin Aries defends against Alex Shelley. I'm going to go with Austin Aries on this one. And since I'm picking Austin Aries, that's why I picked Jesse Sorensen. Now we, because Jesse, you know, he's a face. So, you know, you, the usual and in wrestling, it's the face versus the heel. Now, I know in TNA in the past, we've seen the heel versus the heel. We've seen Austin Aries defend his championship not too long ago against Kid Cash, which was a freaking great match in my opinion. I really like that match. I liked how both heels tried to, like, out-heal each other. Like, pull off the... Um, you know, the, the heel moves, the heel maneuvers, the heel tactics, try to outdo each other. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I don't see them doing another, you know, heel versus heel title match this soon after Kid Cash versus Austin Aries. So, I think Jesse's going to win the number one contendership and Austin Aries wins, well, retains his championship. Tag team title match, Matt Morgan, Crimson versus Samoa Joe and Magnus. I'm going to go with Matt Morgan and Crimson Crimson on this one, even though I would like to see Samoa Joe and Magnus capture the championships. I'm pretty sure Crimson and Morgan are going to retain. And then you got AJ Styles versus Kazarian, accompanied by Christopher Daniels. I'm going to go with Kazarian on this one. Afterwards, you've got Gunner versus Garrett Bischoff. Um, in Gunner's corner, you've got Eric, and in Garrett's corner, you've got Hulk Hogan. I'm going to go with Garrett on this one, just because Hulk Hogan is in his corner. And uh, main event, the match you're watching right now, I'm going to go with Bobby Roode on this one. I'm pretty sure he's going to retain his championship. And yeah, that's about it for my prediction, guys. So uh, that's seven matches. You guys only need uh, six matches out of seven, though, to win the prediction game. So if you, you know, get one match wrong, don't sweat it. You win anyways. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'm going to set a goal of 35 likes for this video. I really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, that's about it. If you haven't joined the Facebook fan page already, the link is in the description box. I'm gonna actually going to post up maybe uh, one or two exclusive videos soon on that page. So, I'm out. See ya.